In the last video, we saw how to define the material properties, increase the sectional integration points to have better discretization of the cross section, and define some load combinations to load or beam until fail. In this video, we are going to see how to mesh or beam, assign the different properties and the different data, and then send the input parameters to the computational engine to get the results of our analysis and have some graphical interpretation in the viewing window. Now that everything is ready, we have to assign the material properties created, as well as the different data, to the different geometries. To do that, we click at this button, as we did for the elastic model, we select the target geometry or the target shapes, and then we select the class to beam 2D. Here we need to choose concrete nonlinear, the geometry of the cross section, and, the, and then as a new step is to assign the concrete data, which is going to assign how many integration points we want in our cross section. Click OK, and then we proceed with the steel reinforcement as before. Once we have assigned all the properties to the different geometries, we can click at the uh, mesh properties. Then we select the concrete uh, geometries. As you remember, we have four divisions. And then we assign again the edge divisions. So we will have the same mesh as, uh, as uh, for the elastic case, uh, as well as for the nonlinear uh, model. By clicking OK, we have everything ready to reassign or to recreate or generate the mesh. Now you see the mesh again, and we can proceed with the analysis input data. Then by clicking at the analysis tab in the main window, we go to the analysis. And then we have the linear elastic. We can delete, remove, and then we create a new one this new analysis, add command, and here instead to select, to select a structural linear static, we will select the structural nonlinear. So here we have many options that we are going to see one by one, what we have to modify for this specific model. In this video, I'm not going to provide the specific details of the different options for the analysis input. If you want more detailed information and the step-by-step uh, -step creation of the analysis with the detailed description of each option, option, you can just click at the link at the top and go to the extended video. So right now, uh, in this analysis section, what we are interested in is the nonlinear effects. Here you can see which are the nonlinearities considered in the in the nonlinear analysis? Right now, we are going to leave everything check. Then we can jump to the new execute execute block. In these blocks, this will we apply the different loads. Here, first we are going to change the name. So first we are going to apply the permanence. We need to check the proper load combination. In this case is this five, number five, if you remember. And then here is where we are going to decide how we apply this load. In this case, we are going to apply the full load, but in, in 10 steps. So we need to define 0 0.1 times the load, 10 times. So in this case, if we uh, run all these steps, we will have we will end up uh, with our beam loaded with one time the permanent load. By clicking at equilibrium uh, iteration, we can change some of the parameters, the number of iterations that we want, like 40, for example. The continuation methods: what uh, do we want to happen if there is no convergence? By default we don't want to continue the integrate the iteration method and then uh, the convergence criteria so we can leave all these options uh, like like that by default and ch changing the iteration the number of iterations the other two options we don't need to change anything so we can 
just uh, define uh, as many execute blocks as we need. We can create a new one, add execute load steps, we can change to variable. And here we change the now number six that corresponds to the variable load. In this case, we are going to apply 20, they apply the load in 20 steps, so we need to define the steps of 0 0.05 20 times, and then this will end up with the one time uh, the variable load applied over all. So, the other parameters again, the iterations, just in case we need, uh, we need more iterations than usual, and the other options by default. Then we define another execute block that will correspond to the ultimate limit state. So we can call like that. So load combination seven. And then here we will apply the same load uh, steps discretization to 20 of uh, 0 0.05. As we are approaching to the failure, we should maybe increment the iteration, the, uh, the number of iterations, just in case we can put 100, and the other parameters by default. So, and now we are going to create the last execute block that will correspond to failure. In this case, we need to choose then the last load combination and the step discretization it's going to be a bit uh, fine because we need to or we want to capture the ultimate load so then we are going to apply instead um, 20 steps we're going to apply 50 in this case that we want to get the ultimate capacity or the ultimate applied load over the structure before failure we need to discretize a bit more the loading steps. So in this case, we want to apply then 50. So it's uh, around 50 of uh, 0 0.02 times the, the, the total load. So then we can move to the equilibrium iteration. Here we are going to use uh, at least 100 as we are going to be close to the failure load uh, we need to increase the number of iterations just in case uh, the, the convergence of the problem takes uh, more. <clears throat> and then we can change uh, the convergence criteria for energy, for example, or just leave the force and displacement. So you can play with the different convergence criteria and see which is uh, the difference and how long it takes to reach the ultimate load and so on. So it's uh, something that you can uh, try and it's interesting for you to see which is more restrictive and which is less re restrictive so with with uh, you can get more uh, accurate uh, results and so on so now we can just use energy now the last uh, step here is to interact with the output for detailed information you can just access to the video uh, clicking at the link at the top but uh, we are going to stick to the by default option so we are going to get uh, all the steps in the results in all the elements and all the nodes and all the reinforcement and we are get all the primary uh, results so the ones that Diana considers uh, more relevant in the video, you can you have you can access to detailed information and the different options inside uh, this output to get the specific results for uh, your problem. But right now, we are going to stick to the default options. So we are ready to send the analysis to the computational core and get all results. Then by clicking at this button, we can run the analysis and send the input to the computation engine. So you can see here the analysis is done. We didn't reach convergence after 100 iterations. And then we reached 70 or we did 73 steps. 
So if we go to the results by clicking at the results tab in the main menu, we can see here the different results. And here now we have different cases. So different cases. So by having a look on the load factor, we can know in which execute step are we. So in that case, when we reach one, that means that we apply the, the full load of the execute step. So as it was the first, this is the permanent load full applied. Then here we have the variable load uh, full applied. And then here we have the ultimate load in the step 40. And we already be, be, have been able to apply 66% of the ultimate load over the ultimate load. So it's uh, quite a lot. But then we can just uh, see the results uh, on the different steps. Yeah, you see here we have the ultimate load. Then we can increase step by step. Let's see how the displacement increase. Here you can see clearly the yielding as we have large, very large rotations. And then here we also clearly see the yielding of the of the mid span cross section. Yeah, more than yielding failure. So it's the last step. By clicking at the link at the top, you can access to a new video with more information how to extract some results, how to get the results in the integration points and then plot them in Excel, like extracting the tables and so on. With this video, we conclude all of the series of videos to develop or reinforce concrete beam with nonlinear properties and nonlinear analysis. We had uh, we developed the plain concrete beam. Then we added a reinforcement there, embedded reinforcement, but linear elastic. After that, we moved to the nonlinear uh, material properties for both steel and concrete. And then we send nonlinear analysis to Diana to get these results. And we have uh, seen the graphical interpretation of them. Please, if you have any, any question or any suggestion, you, you just need to write a comment in the video section. And then I can make uh, a specific video for a question that you have, for example, if you want to know how to implement a specific uh, option or develop some feature or whatever, we can uh, make a video for this and just put also in the channel. So don't hesitate to write and suggest and complain and whatever you want uh, in the comment section also as well as in ping pong. Thank you and see you 